Hussein grew up in a household that was colorblind. One of the maids in the house was actually of African descent, but the way in which she was treated was as if she was a member of the family. The Umayyads, who were the ruling dynasty at that particular time, were quite prejudiced in the way in which they dealt with non-Arabs. Even amongst the Arabs themselves, there was uh, a class system. Hussein, when he rose in Karbala, actually rose to rectify some of these uh, ills of society, as he stated that he was rising to reform the community of his grandfather and enjoin good and forbid evil. We see that when John actually went into battle and fought and was eventually martyred, Hussein actually came to the dead body of John and he did something which the Arabs at the time couldn't really understand. He dismounted and lay down next to John and placed his cheek alongside the cheek of John, this martyred African freed slave. And this is something that he actually did with his own son when he passed away or was martyred on the plains of Karbala as well. This shows that Hussein was trying to tell the world that there was really no difference between a freed slave who was from African descent and his own son who was an Arab. While in this day and age, this gesture of Hussein makes sense for the seventh century Arabs, many of whom were still very racist, it didn't. And even though he was just minutes away from his own demise, his own death, he still found the time to make a very important uh, gesture like this, which resonates till today.